Welcome to Beyond the Driveway. Now, as I highlighted in an earlier video, Karen and I have a new tandem bike in our corral, and it fits nicely into the back of our truck when we're doing our annual cross-country drives. Before this year's ride, I was looking for interesting scenic riding opportunities in the states we were planning to pass through. We were in no hurry to make it to the East Coast, so a couple of adventures would make the drive all that much more enjoyable. Speaking of adventures, hitting that subscribe button will ensure that you don't miss out on any. Maybe hit the thumbs up button too. Thanks. With the help of Traillink.com and Ride with GPS, I found the Colorado River Trail in Grand Junction, Colorado. Now this is a very scenic trail on the banks of the Colorado River. The trail travels between Grand Junction and Fruta. Doing the full out and back amounts to about 26 miles. Now, after a great meal and a relaxing night at the Wine Country Inn in Palisade, Colorado, we were up bright and early to hit the trail. The trail is beautifully paved and very flat with just under 50 feet of elevation change over the entire route. Now, given that we live nearly at sea level on both coasts, we were happy the trail was flat. Even with that, we were still a little winded riding at 4,500 feet of elevation with only one night of sleep to acclimate. So we took our time cruising and enjoying the scenery. We came across this herd of goats. They were clearing out the overgrowth and consequently fertilizing at the same time. If you ever find yourself in Grand Junction, riding the Call of River Trail will be well worth the time. For us, it was a great change of pace from highway travel. Well, that's it from Grand Junction. Our next ride is a few days and many miles away in Ohio Pile, Pennsylvania. Until then, we'll see you on the road or the bike trail. Thanks for watching.